Hey everyone, today for art class we're going to be making a paper plate fish, a cute and colorful art project. Here's what you're going to need today. Some scissors, a white piece of paper, a plate to put your paint on, a paper plate, some paint, any color you like, some newspaper, a googly eye, a black marker, a paintbrush, an empty toilet paper tube, some white liquid glue, and a glue stick. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is put down my newspaper to protect my table from paint. On the white piece of paper, I'm going to go ahead and trace circles using the toilet paper tube and the black marker. It's okay if your circles aren't perfect. We just want a basic round shape. It's also okay if your black outline isn't perfect. The black outline is just going to be a guide for when I cut out the circles, since I'll be cutting just inside the black outline when I cut them out. I'm going to be tracing 15 circles today. It's going to be more than I need, but I'd rather have too many than too few. And if you need help tracing, please ask for help. I'm now going to paint the body of the fish. I'm going to put the paint I'm going to use for the body onto my paint plate. Remember, you can use whichever color you like. For this, I'm going to be painting the entire back side of the paper plate. Now I'm going to go ahead and paint the scales. For these I'm painting them yellow, but you can use whichever color you like. I've washed and dried the paintbrush that I used for the fish body, and now I'm going to decorate the scales. I'm going to do a combination of tapping the color into the circles as well as fully painting in the circles. You can do whichever method you like. You could also use multiple colors if you wanted to. Once the circles and the body of the fish are painted, let them dry completely. Once the plate is dry, I'm going to cut out a large triangle piece. The piece is going to end up being the fin, and the hole is going to be the mouth of the fish. If you need help cutting, please ask for help. Now I'm going to attach the fin on the opposite side of the mouth with some white liquid glue. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the top portion of the triangle piece. Now I'm going to place the body of the fish on top of the fin and press down gently to secure it. Once your fin is where you like it, go ahead and let it dry completely. Now that the circles are dry, I'm going to go ahead and cut them out. I'm going to cut them out just inside the black outline.
Once all the circles are cut out, I'm going to go ahead and cut each circle in half, making two fish scales. I'm going to do this for all the circles. I'm going to use a glue stick to attach the fish scales I just cut. I'm going to glue the scales down so the curved edge is facing towards the back of the fish. I'm also going to glue towards the back of the fish first so I can get that cool fish scale layered look. For the second scale, I'm going to put down some more glue, but I'm also going to overlap it a bit on the first scale. And again, for the next scale, I'm going to add some more glue while also overlapping on the previous scale. Try to line up the flat edges of the scales as best you can as you glue. For the next row of scales, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to layer each scale slightly over each other, but on this layer, I'm also going to overlap it slightly on the previous row of scales. I'm going to do this process for each row of scales I add. pretty good number of scales on my fish now, but you can always add more if you like. Once all my scales are added, I'm going to go ahead and let them dry. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a giant googly eye with some liquid glue. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back of the eye, decide where I want it, and then press down gently to secure it to the fish. And once it's dry, you can go ahead and hang it up and have a beautiful art decoration. As you can see, I had a couple scales left over and added them to the fin. I thought I gave it a little more personality and style. I hope you have fun making your own paper plate fish and getting creative with it. Thanks for watching.